Hi, this is Sahara, episode 18 of our awesome adventure with Abaddon to the Corruption. We have now completed, well, we're in the process of completing two tasks, hunting the rebels, so we have to um, go to Commander Odile and then Lost Caravan for Watcher Dinzi. So let's go to the Commander first since he's right here. This gals. I also need to check out some other characters. Okay. Um Okay, I want to know how to come soon. Are we going now? I was I was able to investigate the rebel lair. You describe your adventure in the caves, your misadventures with Sula, and the slim evidence you found. Hmm. This Miranda is no concern of mine, though I suspect that Redbeard will appreciate your news. He takes the letters you found and inspects them. Beyond Miranda's name, they don't seem helpful. Still, we will read them carefully. We may learn more. And this? Sula, was it? What happened to him? I killed Sula. I killed him. Odile nods. I am glad to hear it. My mercy for these rebels is long since exhausted. And what about Raynor? The scout taken by the Titans. Did you find any signs of his fate? I found part of his cloak in his cell. Odile leans forward. Really? Raynor lived? He grabs his scroll and makes a series of notes on it. This is good news. Perhaps my favorite scout still lives. Perhaps he can still be rescued. I will do what I can to bring my warrior home. He sets the scroll aside. This concludes everything I needed to ask. Will this help you find the rebels? Alas, no, but our hunt has only begun. They will make a mistake soon. They will leave tracks, a sign, or some clue, and then they are ours. That is all? I suppose some reward is expected, Odile says with a sigh. I do not want to unnecessarily aggravate Abaddon. I will have one of the so stored rooms in this tower unlocked. Since you recovered some rebel letters, I will give you some extra coin. Seems deserved. He gives you a pouch. Now, I am sure you will want to report back to Abaddon. Don't let me keep you. I will not pretend I enjoy having hands in my fortress. Okay, so we're done with him. Let's see if that quest is gone. Well, um, use the portal pouch. Okay, so now I gotta go back to, to return to Kaaba. Or, uh, gotta return to Abaddon. All right, so, and he said one of the storerooms is open. Now, I know I got into one of them, so let me see if this one is not open. Oh, this one is not open. Well, not much, really. Hmm, yeah, it is. Uh, dead eye chainmail. I use missile attacks a lot. I love my razor dick disc, so we're going to go ahead and give that to her. And I think... I think she's already got chainmail, yes. I think pretty much everybody's got chainmail. I'm going to go ahead and keep it. Help suit up our other um, bronze girdle. I think everybody's got that one, too. She's got it. She's got something different. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... No, see, that's the problem. If I put it on them, I'm not going to have... All right, I'm just going to go ahead and put it in. Because once I go... No, I can still have access to their pack. Wand of Venom. Okay. Kind of running out of room here. So, we got that task done. Now we go to Watcher Denzi. Denzi? Denzi? The Quartermaster. Then we head on down to Abaddon, it looks like. Quartermaster. Oh no, I needed to check out some characters here. That's right. Now that I am a hand, I think I can go back to uh, the Law Carver. And there was the Scoutmaster. I think he will not talk to me. So let's talk to him. Um, I found the caravan. Some of the supplies were even still there. You described the caravan's location to Watcher Denzi. He is quite pleased. I will speak to the commander immediately. We will get a blade of warriors there before the rest of our goods can be scavenged. He gives you a potion and a pouch of coins. An inadequate payment for your aid, I admit. You also have our gratitude, if it helps. Do you need anything else? 
I do not, and even if I did, you have quite exhausted my supply of the more worthy items. I thank you for your aid. Okay, so we're done with him. I don't think any more. So that should be out of there. Yep, that is gone. Now I did head into the corruption, check in with NC occasionally and see if she has anything else. Oh, okay. Maybe she's got an update on that. So let's go ahead and go to the scout quarters, which was, I believe, over here. Yep, scout quarters. He wouldn't talk to us before because we were not a hand. Watch her. Maybe it's a girl. Watch her growl. Um, how are you dealing with the tail? I am now a hand of Abaddon. I am. He sits and stares into the fire. He has no maps. Okay, uh, how are you dealing with the rage? We are recovering from it as best we can. Okay, I'm now a hand of Abaddon. Corral continues to stare into the fire. The badge on your shoulder makes it so. You have achieved far more power and influence than I could ever have given you. I hope that it that it turns out to be what you wanted. I hope I am permitted now that I know your new status to ask for your aid. Is there anything I can do for you? Yes, I want extra points. Your offer is very tempting. You are a hand of Avedon. You have the freedom and power to do what I wish. I know your kind rarely aids without great payment. I can pay little except trinkets and gratitude. There is a blade master of the Kawa. His name is Karin, Kar, Karim. He murdered one of my scouts. Then he fled. Such an outrage against a man of the Windelim loyal to his kind and to the pact must be answered. Tell me more. It is a simple story. The Kava and Widolin dispute this land. The two had an argument. It was near the laws of the Stone Code to the east. My scout spat on one of them. Hmm. The blade master Karim struck him down. Then he fled the fort, not even pausing to get supplies. My scout was foolish and rash, but he should not have been killed. Karim must pay. Why has he not been hunted down? Priorities, or so the official story goes. With all that has happened, the commander has none to spare to catch one man. However, given the dispute over these lands, this is an oddly convenient position. Will killing him, will killing him get me in trouble? I do not know. Even when justified, the slaying of a Kawa warrior at the request of a Whittlem scout will cause diplomatic difficulties, perhaps even retribution. All I can tell you is that you would be doing the right thing. Even the Kava's odd stone code would agree. Well, that's true, because he spat on the stone code. Hmm. What would you have me do? Find him. Take vengeance. Spill his blood as he spilled blood, and accept the consequences. He was seen heading west toward the Whittlem and the corruption. Why did he go in that direction? I do not know. Oh boy. This is one these is these are pack people. These are the Winnelim and the Kaba and they've been finding each other over the contested lands for decades, centuries. All because he spat on the stone code and was slain by the Kaba for doing it. I don't know. I don't know if I should step in as a as a hand of Abaddon, but I know this is how I get points. I mean, actually, a hand of Avedon can do whatever they want. Hmm. Well, I'm going to tell him I cannot do this now. Karel nods. He says nothing. He only stares into the fire. Okay. So if I come back to him, will I get that same thing? Yes. Yep, I will. Yep. So, I can pass it up now. Because I just don't know if I really want to do that. Let's go over to the stone code. Let me talk to the law, law carver first. But she's down here. Wandered here. She's around here somewhere. Nope, this is, um... Nope, there's a cow inspecting this. <laughs> He's down here by... She's down here. Oops. 
she was down here by the commander's thing, I'm pretty sure. I saw her one time when I came in. Here we are, down in this area. So she should be down here. Um, um, what does a law cover do? How often does a law? Does anyone else ever modify the code? This area that seems excessive. Why is there so much work required? Do you need, do you travel much? Um, I only travel, there is always a job to do, and it's always many miles away. It pains me greatly as there are two tasks I must perform in areas of the contested lands held by rebels. Completing them right now is beyond my ability. I can help you. She looks at the hand badge on your shoulder. Perhaps you can. One of the sacrifices the Kaaba had to make to join the pact was to give up some control over the stone code and the responsibility to watching it fail to Abaddon. Yes, there is something you can do for me. Go on. There is a worn copy of the stone code in a rebel lands in rebel lands to the south. In a region thick with wretches, it has not been updated for a century, and we law carvers have deemed it obsolete. I would like for you to nullify it. Kalidistan's Kalida Kalida stands still and, and silent, overwhelmed by the possibility of changing a code stone herself. Do this for me, and I will reward you. We law carvers are few, but our resources are great. So how do I nullify a stone? Use something sharp to place a single diagonal mark across the text on each side of each stone, from upper right to lower left. Then all of the kava who see that stone will know not to rely upon it. Why is this so important? Because those stones have, because those stones bear law so old as to be actively dangerous. Dangerous. Obeying the stone code is literally a matter of life and death. Okay. So did I get? Yep. The law carver. So I got that quest. Um, you mean law carver? In which is one For example, there is an. Um, Outdated copy of the stone needs to be all by near it. The abandoned rebel lair. To the south, though. So, are we going back to the abandoned lair? Hmm. Well, let's see. That's interesting, because I'm not exactly sure where it's at. That's in, um... He starts back in... Okay, I can buy... I can probably buy that now. Carver's Wandering Eye. Oh, that's right. I need to go talk to Inns and Esni. See if she's got any more information about the Wandering Eye. And then we will go to... I don't know. I want to see what's on the... Um, comes up on the maps. Any news on Densney? None yet. I am making inquiries. Come back later and I might be able to give you some paid work. Okay, so there's nothing there. I should have asked her when I was there. How about, does she have any new quests? Let's see. Might still have work for you. Check in with her from time to time. I think I probably already did. Anything else I can do for you? She inspects you, gives you some thought, perhaps when you have more experience. Not quite yet. Okay. Just trying to cover all of her bases. I really don't want to do that quarter, the scout one. Mm, it just seems like it's treading on ground I shouldn't be treading on right now. So, what comes up when we jump? So, we got... Blackwood. So she said to the south. This is not the south. How about this is to the south. South of the rebel camp though. So let's just go in, take a quick look, see on the map and see if it shows up. Um ah yeah it is. It's up here. Okay, so I guess we are gonna go on a journey. Do we have one that came in closer to that? Maybe. Okay. 
That's so neat that we can jump around from side to side. Oh, we are here. You know, I bet this is, we, remember we ran across this before and we were like, well, what is this? Yep, you enter the circle of carved stones that make up the stone code. As Law Carver and Ain told you, nobody has been out here to maintain it for decades. There is a chill in the air. It is far colder inside the circle. You feel like someone or something is watching you. You wonder if you should have asked if these circles have any protective magic. Kaleida shudders. Deface the stone code. It feels so wrong, and yet it is our duty. You approach the first stone. All it takes is four scratches to nullify the code. Ooh, okay, so we're going to be in a battle here, I'm sure. Scratch out the first part of the code. You take a dagger and make a long diagonal, diagonal scratch, deep as you can make it across the text on one of the smaller stones. And indeed, there is defensive magic here. The moment you make the scratch, it starts to fade. The stone repairs itself very slowly, but it's still visible. And then several shades flow out of the rock. These spectral defenders have been waiting in the stone for someone to do, well, what you just did. They try to delay you while the code repairs itself. Oh, okay, so I'm going to have to defeat them every time I am defacing the stone. And why didn't La Carver ain't tell me that? Hmm, interesting, isn't it? Okay, who do we... Okay, so... Oh, they're kind of easy to kill, though. So maybe it won't be such a big deal. Never... Oh... Co-Defender. Yeah, you got to go after him with the... Um, yeah, blades work better than... Um, okay. The shades have been smashed into little shiny bits of ectoplasm glistening in the sun. The first scratch remains, though it is still slowly being repaired. You are free to scratch the second stone. Scratch out the second part of the code. You take a dagger and make a long diagonal scratch, deep as you can make it across the text on the second stone. As expected, it immediately begins to slowly repair itself. More hostile specters emerge from the stone. How many stones were there? <laughs> oh, we got another one. We've got co-defender. Well, now we got a female co-defender. All right. So, you know, um, yeah, these just don't do well at all with them. Ah. I'm going to go ahead and They really don't do much damage. Oops, I had a sword in hand. It's not too much. Uh, I'm a little disappointing on that end. Oh, she's almost dead. Hmm. Okay, and she's what? Vulnerability curse. Ooh, ooh. All right, she's gonna have to heal herself. I really don't know if the catapult or the catapult the the turret really did that much damage to him. See, and we're not healing ourselves either. The shades have been destroyed. Both scratches are still visible. The third stone awaits your attention. Scratch out the third part of the code. You take a dagger and make a long diagonal scratch, deep as you can make it across the text on the third stone. As expected, it immediately begins to slowly repair itself. More hostile specters emerge from the stone. Okay, we are not healed, so... Who am I? Okay, she's going to have to heal herself. Alright, and she's already healed herself, so she can't heal herself anymore. But 
She's going to go here and attack, and she missed. Swing and miss! I wonder if the turret is close enough. Maybe I shouldn't have went to them. Are they close enough to the turret? Yep, they are. I don't think the turret really does much. Oh, and then you miss. <sighs> She's dead. Your Sharon's dead! Well, you know what? She's been doing something. <laughs> For the third time, you have defeated the, descend the defenders of the circle. The three scratches remain, although the first one has already faded, is only barely visible. The central stone remains. If you hurry, you can deface it before the other marks are gone. Well, you know this is going to be tougher. Okay. Scratch out the final part of the code. You take a dagger and make a long diagonal scratch, deep as you can make it across the text on the final stone. When you do, all of the scratches stop fading for a moment, then the newest scratch starts to repair itself, far more quickly than the others. A final shade, more solid and powerful than the others, flows out of the stone. A final defender attempts to drive you out of the circle. Okay, who is it? Right here? Yep. Okay. Wow, yeah. Okay, she is going to have to heal herself. And what do we have for... Um... Well, I don't have anything. What the heck is this? When did I get this? <laughs> 30 to 90 is not as good as what I presently have, but um, I'm looking for Battle of Potion. Okay, here we go. Wow, picking on her. Don't pick on her. Pick on me. Oh, she's gonna. Okay, now she can heal herself again. And. And she's still picking on Yoshira. Oh my goodness, she just doesn't have anything. If I don't heal her here. picking on her. I suppose I should move her out of there, huh? Well, as much as I can, I suppose. <laughs> oh, okay. She's dead. The final defender of the circle has been destroyed. It fades away with the howl. The magic of the code is exhausted. The scratches remain. The air warms up. Collider shudders. You look at her and see a tear running down her cheek. That was harder than I expected. What's done is done. This code has been nullified. Hmm. And what did she drop? She dropped something. A ruby ring. 20% to fire resistant. That's pretty cool. Iron javelins don't mean anything. They have no... Dagger doesn't either. So, do I have a ring? I don't think I do. Nope. Okay. Am I past my limit? I'm getting there. Alright. Whew. That was kind of a fight. Alright. So we got that out of the way. We might as well just go back and get that done with her. What time is it? Okay. Let's see if we can go back. Back to Rockwell's Keep. She's here off this edge. She is running around. 
Okay. I nullified the outdated stone code. Ain bows her head for a moment, silently mourning a lone outpost of her law. Then she looks up at you and sniffles and smiles. And so the stone code is made more pure. I thank you on behalf of the Kappa. She takes a bow from her shoulder and gives it to you. They keep giving me these things and I never use them. You take it. A true weapon of the Kappa. Is there anything else I can do for you? Perhaps not yet. It will depend on where I hear that you are traveling. Return later. Okay. So that one's done. And... Oh, see, now she's on here because she's going to have additional um, quests. So that's a nice reminder of to go look these people up. So now I have to go back to Avedon. So I need to go back to the Riverlands. And while I'm there, what kind of capital do I have? Mm, I wonder if I should sell off some of my stuff. Because then I have... So let's go to the corner. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that's right. I was going to do this before. Where are we at? Quartermaster. I forgot about the wretch blacksmith, and I believe he had some weapons in there that might fit. I think he has some razor discs. I mean, I've got one, but I'm going to need another one. So let's go back here and see. And where is he at? There he is. Um, okay, what, I'd like to trade with you. Let me see your wares. Um, he does have an iron razor disc, and I've got a steel one. Iron one is not as powerful, but I do at least need one for Alcander. So I'm going to go ahead and buy that. Just because I'm not running across them that much. <laughs> so, all right, and then let's go. I could probably trade with him. Do I, do I have anything here I don't want to sell? Not really. I'm trying to keep most of what I don't want to sell in our packs, in our media packs. This is kind of odd. I mean, I've never seen an ordinate bowl before. And what if somebody else wants it? He needs one. And it ends up being a quest item. Because <laughs> that's happened before. Oh well, I'll just take a chance. I'm sure there's gonna be more than one. All right, so we got two, 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 eight. Oh, <laughs> I always click on the wrong thing. Well, you know, since, since I'm concerned about that, I'm gonna go ahead and take that out of there. I'm gonna take it out and put it in somebody else's pack. Where'd it go? There it is. I'm gonna put it in her pack. Okay just because um okay sell all in bag oh wow yeah oh yeah i got plenty to go down there and buy that that little farm then sky rise farm that's one thing off my and then i can beat some ghosts because you know there's ghosts in there i've been wanting to get in there since i heard about it okay And I decided to try to keep my videos at least um, up to 30, 30 minutes, um, not more than 35 minutes because they can get very long. All right, so, okay, we can come in from the bottom. Well, but we got to buy it from her, so. And she is down. Abandoned farmhouse. Nope, we're past that. We're down here. I mean, I'm not sure I could probably spend that money on something else, but I want that farmhouse. I want Skyrise Farm to see. I want to beat some. I want to get in there and beat it. See, oh, that's right. I forgot about this guy. <laughs> that money's sitting on that floor in here. Did he come out? Will he come out? He didn't last time. He did it this time. Yay! Oh, no! <laughs> 
I should have stole when he was out. <laughs> Playing cat and mouse here. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, tell me about Sky Rise Farm. Um, how much does it cost? I'll take the. I'll take it. Pay two thousand coins. Sasina takes the small hoard of coinage, counts it carefully, and hands you a deed of sale and a key. Welcome to the neighborhood. I will make sure this money makes it makes it to the owners minus a small fee, of course. I like to buy furniture from my house. Her face lights up. Wonderful. Business has been so bad lately. I was beginning to worry about how about a solid wood four-poster bed fit for a red beard himself. I can make some sturdy wooden shelves for you. When you retire, you'll have somewhere to display all your hard-earned books, trophies, and treasures. I'm sure you'll have many interesting visitors, perhaps Red Beard himself. No adventurer's home is complete without a feasting table and chairs. Oh, so you can buy. <laughs> so you can buy stuff here. Um, okay. I don't need anything, not right now. This is interesting. All right, what else do you want? Okay, I'm done. So I bought the house and now I can buy furniture. So how did, did that update my um, Skyrise farm is off of here now. <laughs> so I can go back there and buy furniture if I need it. Oh, so funny. Okay. Here. Trying to get here. And I am ready to close down this episode as soon as we get to. No, I thought Skyrise Farm was right here. Oh, it is. It's right over here. Yes, that's right. This is where the mercenaries were at, or the wretches, and they couldn't get in. Okay, well, looks like this is going to be the end of episode 18. We will be visiting our new home in episode 19. Thank you for um, watching, and if you've enjoyed it, click the like button and leave a comment. Thank you, and Sahara out.